Hi lovelies, it's Emmy and I am back to eat more food from a place. This time I'm going to eat Japan, but more specifically I'm going to be eating Okinawa. Okinawa is part of Japan, but it's actually quite different. It's located way far south, southwest of Japan, a little cluster of islands, and it has a very unique culture, weather, climate, geography, language. It's a really unique part of Japan, which I never got to visit, so I was so excited to receive this package. This immense package that Sweet Michael sent me. Thank you so much, Michael, for sending me such a huge, comprehensive package. So because this package is so great and huge and <laughs> comprehensive, I'll be doing this in two parts. So this week will be part one for Okinawa, and next week will be part two. So thanks again, Michael, for sending me so many great treats and, and for giving me a little bit of Okinawa, because I never got to visit it while I lived in Japan. I really wanted to, so this is my little vicarious trip to Okinawa. This is an example of Okinawa soba, and this one is a pork flavored broth. What makes Okinawa soba different is it contains kamaboko, which is this little thing right there. It's like a fish cake, and scallions, which are these green sliced green onions, and stewed pork belly, which is great down there, which is called sanmai niku. Beni shoga is ginger, like the pink ginger. Here's a beautiful instructions on top. That's what it looks like inside. Looks great. Ooh. It looks like it's lard. That's awesome. And then I'm gonna cover it and let it sit for about three, five minutes. While my soba is cooking, I'm gonna eat some other things. These are Goya chips, and they translated as balsam pear chips. Um, I think also in English, it's also translated as bitter melon. So that's a close up of it right there. And it's very, very bitter. I have a dish called, I think it's maybe the national dish called, dish called Goya Champuru, which is um, like scrambled eggs mixed with this really bitter melon. So it looks like the vegetable was cut on the cross section and dried or fried. So let's taste it. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh my. Those are terrific. When you first taste them, they taste a bit like those. Have you ever had them? They're fried green beans. You can get them in the health food stores. Quite sweet initially, very crisp and nice saltiness. But what's different is the bitterness comes through at the very end. So after you chew it all up, you're like, oh, that's nice. It's like a kind of green beany taste. Then it is very bitter at the end. But I love it. So this is kokuto, which is a traditional, like, it looks like an unrefined kind of sugar. It smells like molasses. Beautiful. So it's kind of dusted and it looks like a rock. Wow. Mmm. Obviously, a sweeter sugar. It's just solid sugar. Very sweet and crumbly when you bite it. it just melts. It has a very unique flavor. It has a slight bitterness, more of a black strap molasses flavor. Delicious. I love it. Very unique flavor. Okay, let's check on that soba because I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> Look at these noodles. They are so beautiful. They're nice and thick and wide. And as you know, if you're eating noodles in Japan, it's it's totally okay. And in, in fact, you should slurp your noodles. That shows that you like them. Please don't mind my slurping. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Oh yeah. That is so yummy. So the noodles are nice and chewy. And there's a little bit of bite to them because they're nice and wide. The broth is delicious. It's got a nice kind of porkiness to it. It has a very authentic fattiness that I associate with with ramen, and it's delicious. Sanpincha, sanpincha. In other parts of Japan, ocha or kocha, which is black or green tea, are usually served. He says in Okinawa they serve this sanpincha, which is jasmine tea. Oh yeah, and I immediately can smell the jasmine. Jasmine is a really beautiful fragrant flower. It's a little white bloom. And I think you can also it's quite popular in China as well. It's served hot. Come by. Oh, that's great. It's not sweet at all. It has a slight bitterness that you would associate with black tea or even green tea. Delicious perfume of jasmine. It's like a floral, it's a floral scent, but not 
not overly distracting. It's just a perfect complement to the tea. I would say similar to something like an Earl Grey tea or something like that where it's just infused in there but it's not overly strong. I'm not a big fan of flavored teas at all, <laughs> but jasmine tea I adore. I love these videos, they're so much fun. This is what it is, Chintsuko. Look at that, isn't that lovely? And inside are packets of cookies that are individually wrapped. And Michael says they're plain and sea salt. So let's try that. Let's taste it. Here we go. Mmm. The flavor is a little bit different than what you might have traditionally in a Western shortbread cookie. It doesn't taste very strongly of butter at all. So maybe they use shortening or something else. It tastes more of like that brown sugar, the kokuto. It's delicious. Quite sweet. Let's try this one. This one looks a little lighter in color than the other one. But same really cute crenulated edges there. Mmm. Mmm. I think I like that one better. That one's got a punch of salt in it. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. I think I like that one better. That one's got a punch of salt in it. Delicious. I really like that. It really offsets the sweetness. Common or cold. So these are senbei crackers, which are rice crackers that are fried and have the shape of a turtle shell. So that's why they call them kame. He sent me three different flavors. Umeboshi, ume, which is plum, shio, just the plain salt, and this one, which is the shoyu which is the soy sauce flavor. So look at this packaging, isn't it delightful? So here's a close-up of, oops. And don't they look like turtle shells? They are adorable. They're concave on the back, like a little turtle could live there, right? Mmm. A really delightful crunch. This is what it looks like inside, airy, very crisp. And I believe they fry these, but not at all greasy. And it tastes like a rice snack. Now let's compare that with this one. This is the shoyu one. So this is a little bit darker in color, which makes sense since soy sauce or shoyu is, is dark. Mmm. Mmm. This has a little bit of a sticky coating on the outside and it's slightly sweet. You can definitely taste the shoyu and it's a little bit sweet too. It's delicious. So let's try the ume one, which is seasoned with umeboshi, which is a dried salted plum. This one is a little bit speckled or dusted with the umeboshi powder. This one has a really great inside. So cute, like you could just imagine the little turtle inside there. Mmm. Wow, really different. Umeboshi is a little bit tangy. It has a little bit of a tartness. Of the three, I think it probably, I think I'd like the ume. The ume is a very interesting and unique flavor. Very subtle though. This is made by the company Glico, and I saw it in the store, but I never bought it, and it's Colon, Caron. It has a, a bit of an unfortunate name, <laughs> as it sounds like part of the digestive system, but I'm sure it's delicious. This is unique to Okinawa because it's pineapple flavored, and you can't find this flavor in other parts of Japan. Roll up cookies. There's a little edge there, and then there's a little tube, and it has a yellow filling. Mmm! Really good. It's got a soft kind of crunch. The filling in the middle is like a cream, pineapple flavored cream, and the flavor is very reminiscent of those pineapple cakes. I don't know if you've ever had those Chinese pineapple cakes. Very much that flavor of pineapple. It's delicious. So cute. Look, it even has little hearts on the top. There's a specific kind of citrus that grows in Okinawa called shikwasa, but it looks a bit like a lime, I guess. There's a green and a yellow. Looks like a lozenge. Oh, it smells divine. It's like lemony, but more fragrant, more flowery. Here we go. Let's taste it. My mouth is watering already. Here we go. Mmm. Ooh. So good. So it has a lemony, kind of mandarin orange flavor. But there's a little bit of like menthol to it. So it gives your tongue a little bit of a tingle. 
It's so great. It's really intensely chikwasa. It's really good. I'm gonna bite it to see what's inside. Mm, nothing. You know, it kind of reminds me, superficially, the flavor is different, but superficially it reminds me of Halls used to make these vitamin C drops. My dad would get them for my brother and I as kind of a treat. And they were slightly mentholated like this. And this is just taking me back. Here's the green one. Mmm. Equally as good. Same kind of mentholated, slightly mentholated sensation. Definitely a different flavor. This one to me tastes more like grapefruit. Mmm. So good. I think of the two, I like the green one better. It says vitamin C, 2,000 milligrams. So maybe these are a lot like my Hall's vitamins. <sighs> Look how stinking adorable. It's Chikawaso heads. Look how cute that is. That's white, and it's like a yogurt kind of chew. And then inside are these little candy bits that are chewy as well. Oh, it's too hard to write. Oh man. As you can see, quite chewy. The outside is like the kind of a yogurty, creamy outside. And then you get the inside are these little chewy bits. They're like little gummy bits that are embedded in there. And these are really chewy. And that's what has the shikwasa flavor. Kind of tart, kind of pineapple-y almost in this case. Really good. <laughs> Michael also sent me a five pack of high chew pineapple all right, let's try that. I've never had a pineapple high chew before. The inside is yellow and the outside is white. Mmm. So good. Similar to like a Starburst, but a little bit chewier. Not as sweet as a Starburst. And really great pineapple flavor. It tastes like pineapple crush soda or something like that. It's delicious. Let's try mango. White on the outside and bright orange in the middle. Mmm. Mmm. Very interesting. This almost tastes peachy to me. It's delicious. It still tastes quite good, but it's not what I think of when I think of mango. Michael didn't stop there. He included haichu with golden kiwi. I have never seen golden kiwi flavor before. Oh, look at this! It's yellow on the outside. And there's tiny little flecks in there. I think that's supposed to be the kiwi seeds. Whoa. Mmm. Wow. Sour green apple, delicious, mixed with a little banana. That's what that tastes like. It's actually quite good. You know I'm not a big fan of artificial banana flavor, but I like this. So this is another version. This is Spy Chew. So this looks like, again, by Morinaga. Little yellow flecks in there, too. I don't think it'll show up on camera. But there, you can kind of see it. Let's taste it. Here we go. Oh! Oh my goodness. Those are excellent. So indeed, there are little crystals or granules of sour lemon. But crunches, you get that textural crunch. And you get little punches of, of lemon. Sour lemon as you chew it is so good. I love that. I think that's my favorite. So look at this. This is Kuro Ame. Very, very traditional looking candy candy. Hmm. It's like a very stubborn butter mint. <laughs> it's like a butter mint that won't melt. <laughs> it has that kind of brown sugar flavor to it and it's quite sweet. Pineapple candy. There's several of these wrapped candies. They look like pineapples, like pineapple slices. It's kind of a big candy. This is a more subtle pineapple flavor. Yeah, but it's not tart at all. I think it would have been nice if it was balanced with a little bit more tartness. Just sweet pineapple candy. This is called masasa candy. These are all tropical flavors. I think found in Okinawa, including pineapple root, mango, shikawasa, and guava. All these individually wrapped kinds, and you can pick which one you want. I think I'm going to try the guava, which is this one. Mmm. Almost delicious. To me, guava has almost kind of a peachy, um, mango-y flavor to me. And that's what that tastes like. It's quite good. And that's what the mango actually, the mango haichu tastes like. 
tastes more like guava. It's good. I like it. Thank you, Michael, so much for sending me this package. And don't forget to tune in next week for part two of Emmy Eats Okinawa. So I'm going to do a quick giveaway because Michael was so generous. I want to give back to you guys, too. So just leave a comment below. I'm going to choose five winners. And I'll send you one of these lovely puchos or haichus that Michael sent me. In part two of the Okinawa video, I'll announce who the winners are. Thanks, you guys, so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye. Do, 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 do. How cute is that?